I'll never forget the smell of the sweat from under your armpits. The smell of your crutch was too... F Hi. You're watching The Creaky Blinder. Well, hello, it's me, Creaky, Kent Hovind's favourite YouTuber. Now then, eight reasons why the Flat Earth bothers them so much. Not really sure who them is, and these flat earthers have never really made it that clear. But in reality, there's only one reason why flat earthers bother me so much, and I'll just come right out and say it. Earth isn't flat. But if we put that to the side just for now and reserve judgment while we watch this video from Flat Earth Banjo USA Japan and Brazil 2, catchy channel name, then maybe we can begin to understand exactly what it is that makes these people so incredibly gullible. And I know you all watch my content to hear me call them stupid, but I'm feeling quite positive today, so I will stick with gullible. Unless, of course, they say something stupid, then it'll be fair game. But before we start, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Established Title. Hello, tis I, Lord Creaky, and I am now very important and a very big deal. So listen up! Established Titles is based on a historic Scottish custom that afforded wealthy landowners the title of Lord or Lady. Using Established Titles, you too can now be a wealthy Scottish landowner without the need to be wealthy or Scottish. The way it works is that when you make your purchase, you are actually buying one square foot of private land on a dedicated estate in Eddleston, Scotland. And you get a certificate, like this one. Look, it's even got a swanky crest. Your certificate will include a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land and with Black Friday fast approaching, and let's face it, we all have got that one relative who's incredibly difficult to buy for, Established Titles makes an amazing gift for that awkward aunt or uncle. So why not make your most annoying relative a lord or lady? They probably already think there's something special, so why not make it official and give them a title? Established titles even do a couples pack, and depending on how far you want to take it, you can actually officially change your name to Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, social media accounts. But, probably the coolest part of this whole thing is that Established Titles plants a tree with every single order, and they work with global charities, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, to aid global reforestation. Now. For the first 200 people to purchase a title using my link, you will effectively be next to my plot. And we can have a blinder gang party! <laughs> Tidy! Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code CREAKYBLINDER, you'll get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com forward slash CREAKYBLINDER to get your gifts now and help support my channel. Right, let's get back to... Lord Creaky. So let's get started. Easy Tiger, this is my channel, so I will decide when we get started. Okay, let's go. Please subscribe. The first reason they hate Flat Earth is because Flat Earthers will not spend time, precious time after sports events or concerts or the music business. What? Is that one of your reasons? Really? Seems like a bit of a waste of time to me, especially as we all already know that the other seven aren't going to help you much either. You probably would have been better off trying to start with something strong. Haven't you heard the story of the guy who found a magic lamp and wasted his first wish? So, there's this guy, he finds a magic lamp, he rubs the lamp and a genie appears and says, what is your first wish? So the guy says, I wish I were rich. The genie replies, it's done. What's your second wish, Rich? Well, ha, ha, ha. Because we know form, this form of entertainment is just there to distract us while they destroy flat earth, they destroy everything, they deceive people. Ah, right. So music, sports and probably all other forms of entertainment aren't actually there for our entertainment. They are concepts invented by them to help lull us into a false sense of security when it comes to the real shape of the earth. Well, I'm sure there are some people who will believe you. Sadly, not anyone who is 
packing more than a couple of brain cells into their noggin, though. To so all these people who are paying attention in sports events or musical concerts, all that stuff, they're just being led astray. You know, they're just being deceived, being entertained while they really destroy and take over with their new world order. Ooh, the new world order? Well, I, for one, don't believe that's a real thing anyway. So, next. And... Is it just me, or are you having a really hard time understanding this guy's stupid accent? Another reason Flat Earth bothers them so much is because Flat Earthers are not going to swallow. Well, I'm never going to ask a Flat Earther out then. Wait, what, what are we talking about? Just a second, I may have jumped in too soon, yeah? <laughs> Flat Earthers are not going to swallow everything those so-called scientists, pseudoscience, are saying about Earth and the creation. Ah, right. That actually makes a lot more sense. Well, yes. Why would Flat Earthers believe what real scientists say about the shape of the Earth? I mean, it's not as though they can demonstrate what you Muppets think isn't real when it comes to the shape of the Earth, is it? Now, I'm not implying that the only reason you all try so desperately to discredit science is because it demonstrates how dumb you are, but I am saying that the reason you don't like science is because it demonstrates how dumb you are. Okay, we, we don't believe that stuff. Uh, we've been there, but now our eyes have been opened and we no longer believe those claims. They are false claims. And that's fine. Anyone is free to believe anything they want to. But as I've said before, when it comes to the shape of the earth, it makes no difference at all what you believe. The only thing that matters is what you can demonstrate. And in spite of you all claiming to know that the earth is flat, I can't help but notice that you have a difficult time demonstrating it. Reason number three, uh, we know space is fake. Uh, the curvature that NASA shows on TV, it's all made with fisheye lens. You know space is fake because there are green screen effects used in Marvel movies. Interesting that you bring up fisheye lenses though. You claim that they are being used by NASA, but they only seem to affect the Earth and never anything in the foreground of the image. I didn't know fisheye lenses could do that. Very clever. And uh, the green screen is the secret, you know, the ISS is fake, they, they do everything on the green screen, so they hate Flat Earth because we know that stuff is not possible. Without evidence to back up your claims, using the word no is pretty brave. For example, we know that the Earth is a globe because everything we see around us shows us it's a globe. Ships going over the horizon, for example. Now, you may be watching this and saying, oh, Greeky, you just used the word no. And yes, I did. And the reason we can use the word no is because we do have evidence to demonstrate the shape of the Earth. The flat earthers? Any pictures of flat earth from outer space? Oh, no, of course not. And no, it's not because they haven't taken any yet. Apparently, it's because according to some flat earthers, Space is fake as well. That's pretty convenient though, isn't it? Another reason is because flat earthers will not believe in the so-called official religions out there. All those religions, they are working together for the one world order. Hang on a minute. Flat earthers won't believe in the official religions. Are there another group of flat earthers out there that I'm unaware of? Because pretty much every flat earther I have ever come across uses the Bible as one of their proofs that the earth is flat. It doesn't, but to say that flat earthers don't subscribe to any sort of official religion is a pretty stupid claim to make. And that's saying a lot considering that your main claim is that the earth is flat. So there is no difference among them. They all, they are all together in this deceit of deceiving the people to bring upon us a new world order. I'm starting to wonder if some of these flat earth bozos deserve our sympathy. Just how stupid you actually have to be to publish content like this to the internet. It has to have a negative effect on almost every aspect of their life. Imagine meeting somebody new and then this comes up in conversation. Another reason they hate flat earth is because we flat earthers know that we did not come from monkey. Oh crap. He's a young earth creationist as well. Bloody perfect. So he's double dumb. Evolution is a lie. And we know that we were created. There is a creator. Everything was made with a purpose. Right. 
everyone stop what you're doing and pay attention. Didn't this clown say that one of the reasons why people hate Flat Earth is because they don't subscribe to any religion? Now, whilst I'm happy to admit that I'm no expert, but when young Earth creationists refer to creation, don't they mean that everything, including us and them, was created by the God of the Bible? Now, like I just said, I'm not an expert. But even I know that believing what the Bible says makes you a religious person. You're not very good at this, are you, pal? They hate Flat Earth because Flat Earth exposed the lie of evolution. So they hate Flat Earth. Hmm. Is the lie of evolution the same as the lie of the globe? If it is, we aren't worried. Because we can demonstrate both. Can you demonstrate any of your beliefs? Not that ours are beliefs, they don't need to be. But you, on the other hand, nothing more than beliefs and assumptions with a light sprinkling of misunderstanding on pretty much everything you say. Another reason is because Flat Earthers will not spend time watching TV like Star Trek, Star Wars, Cosmos, Ancient Aliens. No, we know they just like watching videos online from other people who already believe the same thing they do. And everyone knows that the best way to learn new things is to look them up on the internet. <laughs> Why bother with studying these topics? Being educated is for losers. You know, we, our eyes have been opened. We are not going to be spending time, wasting our time on TV shows that's made to deceive people. No, we are reading books. We are conducting experiments out there. Uh, we have been awakened. We will not go back to sleep anymore. But all your experiments backfire on you and demonstrate the real shape of the Earth. What's your point? Interesting. Once we have taken the red pill, no way we will be taking the blue pill again. So it's another reason they hate Flat Earth, because Flat Earth is the red pill. The globe Earth is the blue pill. Allow me to clear something up. I don't hate Flat Earthers. I think they're great, in fact. After all, they are what I built this channel on. Plus, they just aren't important enough for me to hate, because to hate something implies that you cared about it first. And I don't know, nor have I ever cared about flat earthers. Yes, fun to laugh at them with you lot, but they just aren't important to me in any way. And one of the most, uh, I, I believe, is the most important part of Flat Earth and they hate about Flat Earth is the fact that we don't believe in their science anymore. Many have come to know the truth of the creation after they realized the Earth is flat. But I thought it doesn't matter. And saying that you don't believe in science anymore makes no sense anyway. That's the beauty of science. Belief is not required just the ability to understand what's being demonstrated to you. And if you really think you have a better explanation than the one science offers, show us then. It's your job to disprove science. Why has no flat earther ever been able to do that, I wonder? Thousands and thousands of them have opened the Bibles and now start to understand how the creation works. Now, I can't help but notice that you do seem to be referring back to the Bible quite a bit, which is odd, considering that according to you, one of the reasons that flat earthers are disliked is because they don't follow any religion. Weird. The sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. There's a dome above us and Antarctica is the boundary and we cannot go beyond that. No, oh, poor guy. He can't even get biblical quotes right. Wasn't it the second day? But that's not important anyway. I mean, it's the Bible. And as far as the dome goes, I think we can pretty much dismiss that out of hand. There's never been a single image shared of the dome or any evidence presented to show that it's real. Hang on, I may be taking this a bit too literally. Earth isn't flat. So these are eight reasons why they hate flat Earth. And I wanna close this with this lady her name is Lori Lightfoot. She's a communist and she works for the New World Order. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Although I do really hope that that picture's been edited to make her look like that. So she's a member of the New World Order, eh? Okay, let's look at that then. So, she's not the first LGBTQ plus black woman to be elected mayor of a major city in the United States. Chicago, I think it was. I've seen this lady pop up in a few Flat Earthers videos and I'm not entirely sure I can see any connection. Okay, what you been doing then? In this video here, she clearly states that she looks, they, they try to put play, people in place, specifically in place, that they select the people who are in accord with the New World Order and those are the people they want to 
place in certain positions. So here what she says here. We will now in a minute. Do these flat earthers not see that every time they launch a personal attack on anyone in a position of authority, it just highlights that pretty much everything they say they believe is built on a foundation of mistrust? Which is fine. If that's the way you are, then good for you. But how is it that while mistrusting people like business owners, politicians, anyone in a position of authority, you're at the same time quite happy to completely trust, without question, some random guy on the internet who tells you that they know the earth is flat? It doesn't make any sense. But with that being said, neither does claiming to believe that the earth is flat, so... So... You gotta eliminate that compliance and you make it a mandate. Um, and then you do training, particularly in the city, I'll call them licensing departments, whether it's zoning, buildings, um, housing will be impacted by it, planning certainly. Um, and it's and you and you pick the people that run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance. And then I think you have the inspector general do some spot audits to make sure that there is real compliance. Ah, tidy. So an out of context clip published on Facebook that you think connects Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot to a centuries old conspiracy theory about the New World Order, you think that's legit? Now the full video and the transcript of the video from her 2019 interview with the Chicago Tribune showed that she's talking about how to eliminate aldermanic privilege, an old informal rule that allowed one city council member out of 50 to block a proposal during a vote. And listen, I hope that wasn't too much of a shock for you. And I mean me revealing that a flat earther is using an out of context clip that their theory is then completely misrepresented because they think it proves something. It literally took me less than 60 seconds to find out what that clip was really from. So she's a communist and now she just made another video. She was having a bad dream and she woke up and she taps the globe. You know, she says science is back, but in fact it's just like, you know, they, they, they need the globe for their new world order. Oh, love him. Poor guy, can't even see when somebody's mocking flat earthers. Thank God, science is back, baby, and the earth is round. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she definitely didn't record that to mock the people who were going nuts online claiming she's a member of the New World Order and hiding the fact that the earth is flat, did she? We, they cannot have a New World Order, New World Order with a flat earth because the flat earth demonstrates that even now in 2022 there are still people that are this stupid i'm working on a video demonstrating how the globe was used to conquer all the lands for rome and that's what they did they used the globe they sent their missionaries which were astronomers to every nation and destroyed their flat earth beliefs and replaced it by the globe and it wasn't that scientific discoveries were being made and people were finally able to understand the true nature of earth interesting and i bet you've got lots of evidence to back that up right bringing the whole world under the feet of rome so i'm working on this video that's why they love the globe those leaders because the, the globe means submission to Rome, submission to one world government, submission to the United Nations, submission to the Antichrist, submission to the beast system. So that's what the globe represents and they love their globe so much. But these are the eight reasons they hate Flat Earth. Flat Earth exposes the truth and they don't like the truth. They love the lie. They love the darkness, not the light. Well, well, well. When I sat down to choose this video, I did have in mind that I wanted to do something a little bit silly and something easy to respond to. But I had no idea how easy it would be. This clown didn't even challenge me and I'm an idiot. So, thanks to Established Title for sponsoring today's video and thank you all of you for continuing to support my channel take a look down in the description if you want to you can support me there's a few different ways you can do it down there anything from patreon to paypal membership on my website buy a t-shirt well not one of these this isn't one of mine but i really really do appreciate you all being here with me love you bye
All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.